Diesel, are you ready? I I am ready. Are you sure? Yes. All right, we're we're done. Yes. We you've gotten your sustenance in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the asparagus can wait. You know, it's not really that exciting. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I don't know how y'all eat that. What? Asparagus is delicious. Oh my God, yeah, I love asparagus. Mm. Oh, Skip tried to tell me that. I think yesterday it was, and I was like, ma'am, no, ma'am. Asparagus is disgusting. It depends on wow. the content of what you're eating it with. Like, no. I really like it with salmon and stuff like that. I, I salmon I sucks too. Ew. That's outrageous. That's salmon is delicious. It. No. Yeah. No. What is wrong with y'all? Oh, That's my favorite fish. It would be. It would be. You're bougie. Yeah, I love of salmon. Of course it would. Oh, oh. There is no way. No. And, there's, and there is no context in which asparagus is good. I'm sorry. At all. None. Wow. I feel the I same mean, way about green. It makes your pee stinky, but that's like, that's like about it. Well, really see, much. there's yeah. another downside, that's, the taste and the, the pee. That's the most known fact about asparagus, right? Like, it's just stinky pee. Ugh. I don't like greens either. What? Ah. Nope. Yeah. I don't like that's greens. That's the only vegetables I eat really is greens. Nope. <laughs> I don't like turnip greens, no, collard greens. greens. Nope. There is not a collard green that anybody has ever made that I like and I can eat. Y'all don't know how to use y'all's mouths. That's what I'm learning today. Look, look, ma'am. I'm going to need you to calm the hell down, all right? I'm getting upset. Everybody and welcome to the broadcast. I am here with my lovely co-host Bunny. Hello. And Eva with her broken headset. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I'm Zylie. And today we have a special guest. He is a very, very good friend of mine and um, the best GM known on the internet. Just saying. He, he got me to love D and D. Uh, FPS Diesel. You know, I, I I'm really glad that you mentioned how good of a DM I am. That's uh... <laughs> I, what is that? I don't know what that is. What? Uh, uh, I'm a okay. I'm a I'm a dungeon master. Oh. Which is a lot less sexy and exciting. Um, oh. I'm the one who referees like the games with Xyli role plays. Oh yeah, all this sounds very to me but I, I have no idea what any of this means it, it's okay oh <laughs> bunny it's nerd stuff. sorry it's nerd stuff oh yeah yeah okay. not the type of dungeons it. that you know of yeah, yeah. <laughs> different kind of dungeons girl different kind of dungeons <laughs> now it's um D and D dungeons and dragons um he uh he's the one that got me to play it for the very first time ever and it was so fun i got mad at one point and now <laughs> But now I'm mean, like into it. Like I can, I don't play it. Like, listen, Diesel plays it all the time. Okay, he swears he only has two sessions a week, but I know he play, he role play, he does it more than that. I know he does. <laughs> After I clock out from work today, I do have a session as a player, but that's just like, <laughs> you literally just show up when you're just a player. Like you did no prep. But like, <laughs> if I checked right now, I have like, between the campaign I ran for Xyli and the one I'm running now, I have something like 500 hours over this last year. Yeah, oh, Jeez. and yeah. we're only halfway, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's okay. It's, it's all right. We have a friend that plays it practically seven days a week. So, really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, call them. I think you should call them out. That's just disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Who is that? No, no, I'm not going to name and shame. It's core in it. No, it's not core. No, core doesn't. Oh. Um, core was actually like there. Uh, core was the for um there the first time I played it though. It was fun. I was in the group with Core. It was really fun. Oh. We were, um, and Kristen Nark was there too, and um, we were getting to the point with Kristen Nark's character that me, Core, and uh, Kat, who was in the group, me, Core, and Kat, we were talking off, you know, when we weren't playing the game, we were talking about how we were going to kill Chris's character. Oh. If he kept messing up because he was he was ticking us off by the way he was treating, acting with that character, and we were like, okay, look, this is how we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I 
I've got a question. Like, so, um, can, is there a way to like make bets on this and make it more interesting? Like, there be money being won, or is this like a? I don't know anything about it. So, okay. Um, you could technically. There are actually like competitions and shit where oh. if you win, you know, obviously you could win money. I I wouldn't even know how to begin running stuff like that. I mean, at yeah. the end of the day, you're just rolling a bunch of dice around. So I don't really know how that's going to be like refereed, but you could yeah. actually win money in that case. But that's like a that's like a pretty rare thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. There's no is. snake eyes in this one. That's for sure. Oh. <laughs> so how are you doing, Diesel? How how's everything? How's channel going? Um, you know that's a very loaded question right now, Zyli. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> 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 I need to change my. Uh, profile from saying videos <laughs> bro wait a minute what okay so no, i guess i have to i have to take this to the podcast apparently where where's my video at bro i okay it'll be here before next monday okay wait what what video i, I i'm working on a thorpe's video um, oh. yeah and this will be out if it comes out by next monday actually this should be out after that so you can go ahead and talk about oh, okay. it okay Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it really depends how much you know about the family, I guess, right? But the, I mean, for if you don't know, the Thorps are like this family that at first it kind of seemed like they were taking a piss and having their family drama on the internet for like money. Um, but as things developed over time, there's like a weird incestuous relationship between the daughter Grace. Yep. And the dad. Um, ben Thorpe, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, Ben Thorpe. Um, there's like a restraining order. They can't like interact with each other. That's broken all the time. Because oh they'll God. go talk and argue on Discord. Um, <laughs> and then the mom, she's just like constantly like, oh, woe is me. I'm such a like a failure of a mother. Which, I mean, you know, if you want to be really surface level about it, yes, she is. But then also like, I don't know. She's clearly like mentally unwell. There's also some other, like, background characters in the family, but they're, like, you know, they're kind of, like, minor Yeah, they're minor side characters. characters, yeah. Yeah, I mean, re really, Grace and Ben are, like, the two really interesting people. Yeah. Um, ben, I would not want to be in a room with. No, me Actually, either. Actually, I wouldn't want to be in a room with either of them. Yeah. I, I can it. tell you now, Ben is still, to this day, no matter how much Grace asks, Ben is still hidden from my channel to this day. Um, so that video is coming out when now? When? Because now we now we're gonna have it recorded, so maybe we can get it by yeah. that date. So today's yeah. the twenty fourth. So you're talking about it coming out by the twenty seventh? Yes. Okay. So this is legally binding, yeah. by the way. It's legally so. binding. You have yeah. now so. signed the NDA of the broadcast. It better be out. <laughs> I have been bugging him for like a month about this video. You know, yeah. all good videos take time. Like I see on your channel, there's like a few months in between each of these videos, and it's well, like, well, like every the, time the, it's amazing. The Yandere Dev one took like five months, right? Okay, so that one yeah, I was just like, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that, <laughs> that Yandere like three De hours long. So Bro, it makes sense. that Yandere <laughs> Dev one, I was so glad when he finally put it out because that I wasn't even working on the video, but it was stressing me out. Because of the <laughs> crap that he was going through to make that video. Oh, my God. There's a, a lot of information in there. Like, a yeah. lot. Yeah. And it, it's like, I there's so much that was left out that I would, like, just share with, you know, Xyle on occasion. And there's, like, stuff in the store. Like, that's it's still, like, a quarter of what was in the video. I could have easily doubled the length of it easily. It was so much. It was so much. I was stressing out for him because it was just so much. It was, oh my God. Oh, that mess was crazy. Um, so I know um, by talking to you and stuff like that, that I don't know. Can you talk about it? The, um, the thing that you were with that they weren't paying people? Oh, the, the network? Yeah, yeah, I can talk about it. I mean, oh, cool. you know. There's a very slim chance that they'll ever see this. I'm pretty sure they might send me something if I keep talking about it. But to be frank, I don't care. And they also didn't pay me. So I, I don't care. 
Oh, but, okay. Oh. We need, we need background to this. Yeah. And what happened yeah. To you, so, so I was with the YouTube network for many a many a year, and this YouTube network worked a little differently, right? So what happened is is that a bunch of MCNs went under. And the reason that MCNs went under is because they were just fiscally unstable. They would expand very fast. They would basically work like the tech industry, right? And oh. so as a result of that, that's why a lot of those companies went under or they stopped paying creators, right? But the reason you would go with a network is because, you know, like there's the 60-40 split with YouTube. Well, yeah. with networks, you can actually circumvent that and have your own kind of contract that's separate of that. Right, and they pool the money first by using the uh, like they have direct contact with the ad system, so it, it's better to do that, right? So oh, hypothetically yeah. speaking, you could go with the network, and instead of getting the sixty forty, you could get an eighty twenty. You could get a various mm -hmm. other number of things, right? There huh. were some creators that stayed with this company that had a hundred zero. They made a hundred percent of the revenue from their channel, right? And Basically, they would do that to keep high-level talent on, which would increase the value of the company, which would also bring in new talent and new investors, which is good. So you spend yeah. a little bit more by bringing in these big names, but you're able to generate more by bringing in more talent and bringing in more investors. Everything was hunky-dory for a while. And then they got bought out by another esports agency, right? Oh, um, yeah. And then they listed on the NASDAQ, right? So oh. I'm going to have to explain stocks, and I swear this is relevant to my situation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> before, you, before you get into that, though, MCN is multi-channel network, which is basically like they have their own YouTube channel where you basically have all these creators go into the one channel and you have like a bunch of uh, products. So they, they, have, they have like an AdSense account. That's like a corporate AdSense account. And okay. everybody's money goes to that AdSense account, and then they pay you a 1099 or like whatever regional equivalent of like a contractor tax document is. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I um, understand. <laughs> so, so, That's so interesting. So they signed on to the NASDAQ, um, which the NASDAQ, as you know, right, that's a stock, stock exchange. Uh, yeah. You know, all the mm -hmm. most important companies are on there. If you want to make it into business and you are a big tech company, you probably want to be on there. It would be good for you, right? Now, you're on the stock exchange. You're listed for a price. Now, the way that the stock exchange works is that there is a floor price because what they don't want to happen is that all of a sudden your stock starts free falling and now it, it impacts the rest of the market because that's mm. a signal that something bad is happening in the market. So there is a minimum floor price that is required four stocks on the exchange to have, right? And there's a bunch of laws and rules set in place that if you don't meet that requirement, you have a set amount of time. And so they were putting out business uh, statements because they're required to, to their investors saying like, uh, we can't meet the floor price, but we've asked for an extension, which is, which is a bad sign if you're an investor, you don't want to hear right. that, right? Yeah. And the minimum floor price is like $5 um, and they were free falling. Uh, during the pandemic, they had peaked at an obscene amount, right? Which is why they went and got listed. Uh, yeah. Because they're like, wow, everything's going up. Nobody's leaving, right? This is great for us. Um, but of course, we all went back to our lives. And so it started to go down. Um, this continued to happen. And so the company decided to do some corporate shakeups. A bunch of people left. A bunch of people lost their jobs, from what I am told in my opinion, Ooh. allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> allegedly for um, entertainment purposes. <laughs> and and so from that, they're like, oh, we've decided to delist because we think it would be better for investors. The cost of fees is too expensive. Now, right, if you're not an idiot, <laughs> you can read between the lines. We can't hit the $5 minimum floor price. We're leaving. We're hemorrhaging money. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so so by now... Help. By now, this was like, uh, let's see, like last summer, like last July, somewhere around there, uh, which is when I stopped getting paid. Right. Okay, first, and... wait, wait, before you go there, right? So, CoffeeZilla has like, had tweeted out something about this, right? And all of a sudden, Diesel's like, yeah, I checked and I hadn't gotten paid since July. I'm like, 
how did you not know you hadn't been paid since July? <laughs> and this was like, what, September, October or something like that? Yeah, it was like September, yeah. October. And I'm like, right? how did you not know you hadn't been paid since July? No, no, no. July? Okay, Zyli, in my defense, in my defense, <laughs> streaming had been doing very well for me, one. Two, I had been doing some extra shoots and, and teaching on the side. Right. Three, the coffee company. So. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Not Big, I, I get Not revenue from all these different places. I well, just, if, you know. <laughs> you know, you know it, bit, general YouTuber rule of thumb, these guys that put all their money into the, like, channels, uh, those are the guys that are never going to generate, like, wealth that last generations. Right. Um, they're yeah. going to have anything. It's going to all fall right out from under their feet. It was really funny over the course of this uh, stuff with the network, which, yeah, I did talk with CoffeeZilla. <laughs> and he was like, wow, they did a 100-0 split? Like, that's insane. And I was like, yep. And he's like, well, I think this is impacting hundreds of people. I'll let you know if something happens legally. And I'm oh, like, okay. thanks. Uh, CoffeeZilla has, like, another channel now, and he put out, a like, a 30-minute, like, expose on this. But uh, the gist of it was is I got added to a group chat with a bunch of creators, big creators. Uh, these guys, you know, pull in six figures a month. Uh, none of them getting paid. Wow. None of them getting paid. And, and hey. it was really funny because it was like some commentary guys, uh, some guys that do like Minecraft and stuff. It was really funny. One of the commentary channels, I won't say who, um, but <laughs> he was like, maybe they're just like really busy right now. Right? And by the way, if your business is having payroll issues, right, that is not the we're busy or we're lazy. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Because then, then that's a crime. They're committing a crime by not paying you and then still sending yeah, exactly. you tax documents. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I tried to explain this to him, but because he was like a six figure Andy, he was like, I don't believe it. Right. Which, by the way, that creator may have put out a video recently saying that he is on the receiving end of not getting money from this company now. Uh, oh. my, my, oh my, how funny that is, but you know, stupid is stupid does, right? But yeah, so this had been going on for a while. I wasn't getting paid. I didn't find out until I heard out, heard through like a third party. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I basically spent like a half a year not making a huge amount of income. Um, and it didn't really affect me at first. Uh, but when you get paid monthly, that's one of those things that has a compound issue. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so like this year when I finally delisted from the channel or from the network a couple of months ago, it's what may I delisted in like March. I still mm. haven't gotten tons of back pay. Um, there's, there's a lot of money that I'm owed. Um, I'm probably right. not going to get it, mainly because these YouTubers are so stupid. They haven't, like, wanted to do a class action or anything. So I kind of had to cut my losses. So um, how, how many, like, YouTubers are in the same position right now? Like, just in, like, a ballpark number. Let's see. This group chat I'm in, this group chat I'm in probably has <laughs> millions of dollars in this oh, group God. chat. <laughs> oh, okay. So quite a few. Class action should be the way to go, really. Hey? It, it, the class action should have happened months ago when they stopped right. answering emails. Which, by the way, they didn't answer any of mine. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Well. Oh, God. Oh, it's it so like sad. going to get screwed. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop and the company to go under. Yeah. The company of wow. which I have not named throughout the entire course of this conversation, in my opinion, allegedly. No, and I'm not asking, yes. and I'm not asking what that company is. It's just, you know, just a simple state that you have gotten screwed. That's all. No, we're not asking what the company is. We're not saying any names. Yeah, I, I it, it's very frustrating. I've basically been living off of my savings this entire year to try and make up for the losses that were incurred. Like, it's just... Right. Yeah, it's very stupid. It sucks. Well, you're very lucky that you're in the position that you've got savings to actually live off. That's, that's, that's like, you know, you can thank whoever you believe in for that one as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. But a lot of people probably aren't in that position and they're um, probably really struggling right now. But 
um, you know, I really hope that you guys uh, get something together and get all your money back because this this sounds pretty uh, screwy. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Um, so so the good news is uh, you have a coffee company. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yay. Heard great things. I, I I do have a coffee company. Manapotioncoffee.com. Use code mm -hmm. D10 at checkout for ten percent off your order. But yeah, I, 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 <laughs> we we do the the like D and D inspired coffee and various other drinks, and we started doing body pillows, which are like what? mad popular. Okay, bro. <laughs> <That's> really? <laughs> bro, don't get me started. What's on, on body these pillows. body pillows? Mm. Um, mm. so we did one of me a couple of months. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and we sold out of that one. And then we did like a pre-order and I didn't get these out until like mid March. Right. So we did a pre-order in like January, February for one of my friends. Her name is toxic. She draws goblin porn for a living. Uh -huh. um, hey. And I received many a pillow in the mail to send out to people that we got like pillows from the factory. Um, and there was so many, I've, I've never, okay. Let me, I, I can't even begin to describe how, the body pillows were taller than a six foot man, right? Like that's how many body right. pillows we had. Okay. Um, <laughs> and and so, yeah, we sold a, a shitload of those. Everybody walked away making a good sum of money and it was nice because like. That's awesome. Oh, so they're know. no longer available in, on your shop. So we're gonna, we're gonna do more, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we've been like lining up artists to do body pillows and like other merchandise, but we need that to like separate so the two parts of the business because um, yeah, my brother's like I can't keep putting <laughs> porn on our homepage. Parents come to our website. <laughs> That's I like the hustle though. That's a great idea. I never thought of body pillows. It's oh, genius. Bonnie, you maybe you should. There you uh, go. Hey, yeah, there's some ideas. Yeah, that's genius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, clowns so... are very popular these days, so. Okay, well, <laughs> I can see Bunny and Diesel going into business together. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Diesel's a hussy. He really is a hussy. I love it. The I... best ones always are. Oh, my God. Do not encourage him, <laughs> please. And I, I also see on your on your shop that you've got like acrylic stands of like all your characters and stuff like that as well. How are they going? Uh, honestly, pretty good. I have been warned that I apparently am in a jar. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh God! Some of yeah. My audience. Yeah, uh, well, which, a sticky situation to be. Which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Right. Oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> oh no. I am too pure for this conversation right now. Oh my god. No, I'm uh, kidding. Xylee, I am holding it back just for you. I okay. know you are. I know you are. <laughs> but, but listen, you're also talking about a dude who has Illuminati in a jar. Yeah, and I do. Oh, her... you do too. I forgot about yeah. that. Oh, yeah, God. you can see it in yeah. his live streams where, and then where his candle exploded when he was making the candles. Um, it has candle wax on it, and it's a uh, white candle wax, so you can imagine what that oh. looks like on there. Oh, and okay. that's great. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a plan for the Illuminati jar, okay? Now, I don't, oh, God. So, I don't want to know about that plan, sir. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to come in the jars, Eileen. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> so, so I was, right, I make miniatures. So what I was going to do... Yeah. Is I was gonna get a bunch of uh, UV activated resin, right? So it hardens. Yes. So yeah. I was going to make a replica of the of the My Little Pony cum jar using not actual ingredients mm -hmm. uh -huh. to to produce like a replica using the Illuminati blush. Okay, I got a question. How much is the cost of the materials to make the artificial stuff? Because I. I'm just saying, like, it seems more economical to just, like, go the natural route. Oh, um, right. Okay. You see, that's, <laughs> a, that's a good question, but it is but it a also, leader, and I would be yeah. filling it up for quite some time. Oh, God. It also oh, becomes God. a biohazard after a while, wouldn't it? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. To fill it all yeah. the way up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Well, that took a turn. Oh, that was um, that was the wrong conversation <laughs> to have with Bunny. Oh, <laughs> see, I didn't write Bunny. anything down, but I knew. I knew I'd I was so I was gonna three D print little like mushrooms to put in it too. You oh know, my like, god! Like, like, no, I hate like, you. Paint, paint a little ecology inside it. Like really it beautiful. Really have make it look aged. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I so hate good. you. Dylee, it's art. It's not. Yeah, that's, you shouldn't apologize for art. That's a rule. I. You know what? You're my friend and um, one of my dear friends. And I support you in whatever you do. I love your coffee. That's all I'm going to say. I love Don't your ask coffee. him what's in the coffee. Bro, my <laughs> husband loves his coffee too, okay? So we are not going okay. there, ma'am. Okay? Thank you very Listen, much. Listen, the USDA has certified my coffee as organic. Wait, that doesn't help. That makes no, sense. No, that okay, does yes, not yes. help. Never mind. Jesus. Never mind. Yeah. Jesus. And like the USDA, <laughs> they don't really care about anything. True. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, you mentioned that you do um, live streaming as well, um, as well mm -hmm. as your, your YouTube channel. Where do you do that and what do you do? Uh, so I, I, I made a new channel called Diesel IRL. I think it's at Simply Diesel, but like, mm -hmm. so now I'll, I'll stream weekly about like all the drama shit that's going on or, you know, lately I've been covering a lot of lol cows because i know that's like mad popular like yeah or, or i guess like I, yeah yeah they're fun to talk about i i don't know i've been getting a little political with the guys i've been covering because they're like like in crazy like crazy just completely dysfunctional like political extremist uh oh. Zylie, i know you streamed about synthetic man but i've been covering him a lot lately. yeah i listen i went to go do that one video where um on the on the thumbnail it said fallout is dead i could only get through past i can only get through half that video i'm like i can't watch any more of those yeah he started dishing out the race statistics yeah. bro it was oh, a little nice. bit pa it was a little bit past that and I, I can't remember where it was but it was like literally just about like right in the middle of the video and i, I just i i stopped and I'm like, I can't do any more of this video. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it because I'm about to break something. I mean, just with, <laughs> I'm telling. I couldn't finish that video. He was being so. It, it, it was. It was blatant. Like the racism that the way he was talking, and he was talking about you know how a black character should be, and I'm tired of like the liberal agenda or whatever he was talking about on how they right. have black characters and then he was going in about you know how the one character that was the ghoul how he started out and his wife that they had a mixed child and you know uh then he started throwing up statistics of mixed marriages i'm like bro i can't i can't oh do this video i cannot i cannot complete this video he was I'm explaining so how it doesn't make sense yeah uh, okay he was explaining how it doesn't make sense why a white man and a black woman would get a divorce because according to racial statistics black women often stay with white men more frequently right oh, and so he's like God. statistically it doesn't make sense for them to get a divorce yeah like <laughs> like bro why would you i didn't even what i, I couldn't do it i couldn't which do is it with also, that video. which by the way is not how statistics work at all okay that's not <laughs> how statistics work <laughs> So basically, this guy is a massive walking contradiction to himself. Is that he's a, what we're looking that at? That and he's like an uneducated moron. Mm -hmm. right. right. Like okay. he, I've, I've, like, I've covered a lot of guys where they believe in all these conspiracy theories, and when when you get into it, right. So my rule for conspiracy theories is this: the more people it requires in order to keep a conspiracy theory in line, the more likely it is that it's not true. Right, the Earth being mm. flat requires hundreds of thousands of working professionals, independent of each other, to all agree to not tell anybody that the world is actually flat. And mm -hmm. when you get in a plane, you're flying oh. over a flat, flat plane. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, there's a lot of stuff like that where it's like too many yeah. people are involved for this to make any sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. somebody would end up spilling something at some point. You would right. think. So, <laughs> so. You seem to really like covering Synthetic Man by by the gist of it. <laughs> is I, there... I'm definitely done now, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> so is he there anyone like else? A really interesting guy. 
<laughs> oh yeah, trust me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's something I might actually have to go into Diesel IRL and have a look at. You've got like about yeah. like what five, six hours of content on that one. Yeah, so there's I, like yeah, there's, that's... there's quite a lot of stream on that. Yeah, day. yeah. Um, All right, that's something to put down in my watch later. Yeah, thing, but absolutely. <laughs> um, is there anyone else that you think that you covered that like you still talk about to this day, and like it's just one of those things that you can never sort of let go of, and you probably come back to each time. Hmm. There's like the, 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 so I call them like, uh, quartering homunculus people. Oh, yes. Right? So, so there's the quartering where he puts out all these content, like all the content that's like horrendous. Um, and then there are guys that do the same thing as him. I guess they're like the culture warrior type people. Right. Um, and there's a guy called Shadowversity. <laughs> Shadowversity. Right? Okay. Uh, Shadowversity. So like Shadow uh, Versities. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So he is part of the sword community on YouTube. There's a sword <laughs> community? I didn't there know that. There is. Him. There is. There's also uh, a historical European martial arts community, right? So they practice oh. like sword fighting right? and, and compete. Um, oh, wow. Like laughing. Well, yeah. well, it's actually like when these guys hit each other, they're hitting each other hard enough to like it, like it would, the, you get, you get seriously injured. Like oh, oh, that's yeah. cool. okay. So they're like serious. They're, they're, it's like a athletic. Um, you, wow. you, they throw each other down. Does it's a team sport? Um, okay. Oh. Okay. There you go. Shadowversity is like the pariah on that community's like ass end, basically. Okay. Um, <laughs> so he he actually is a larper. He's not educated in medieval European history. Okay. Um, he is now it is actually very hard to wear like 60 pounds of of plate armor uh carry a long sword and then fight people yeah um, bet. so you've got to be in shape uh shad is quite the portly figure um, <laughs> that was a great way to put that and he got into some beef in the sword community with a guy that is an actual sword fighting instructor <laughs> Oh, okay, right. Um, and he made like this forty-minute rant about why this sword instructor is like an asshole. Basically, the gist of it was is that he's very, he knows his shit, and this other guy's a liar, poo poo pee pee head. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> he says that while holding a weapon that wouldn't have ex existed in medieval history with like the double-bladed longsword thing, like that didn't uh... exist. Like that's like a Star Wars weapon. Like it's not real. Okay. Um, oh. But he was explaining how this guy's actually wrong, and then the guy who's an actual sword fighter was just like, well, who do you want to listen to? Someone who can calmly explain their points or somebody who's going to spend 40 minutes complaining about how I perform as a sword fighter? And it was just like, okay, well, you blew him out of the water. Like, you're 100% correct in that regard. Like, <laughs> But then I, I learned that Shad uh, is an AI bro, uh, is, is one of these quartering homunculus figures... Uh, no, what do you has, mean like, by? Sorry, I keep going. So, so they have like what? What I mean by that is like they have really bad. Well, one bad media literacy. Two, they are like it, like deeply entrenched in the culture war. Yeah. Um, and and three basically do nothing but complain. Right? Okay. That's the quartering. Right. Right? Yeah. So yeah. stuff like the bar. I watched Barbie, and it was the wokest movie ever, and I'm so mad because Hollywood. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or have a lot he did, to be honest. Yeah. He did one where so this this is a game called Hell Divers, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a satire of a lot of things. But if you've watched Starship Troopers, you know exactly what it's a satire of. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. He he was like, <laughs> okay. So the message of Starship Troopers <laughs> is. <laughs> Is is basically like oh these things look different from us but they they feel the fear just as we do, mm -hmm. so this war that we're in is completely unjustified, uh, and so <laughs> he took it as why wouldn't you kill the bugs? The bugs are gross <laughs> and they're oh, different, God. so we should kill them. Um, oh, and if, okay. if if you pay attention. 
it doesn't make sense in the movie. I know I'm spoiling like a movie from the '80s. Like I don't yeah, know how to do it. Yeah, but... spoilers. Okay, I guess. at <laughs> this point, if anybody's getting spoiled with Starship Troopers, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in, in the movie, they destroy the city of city of Buenos Aires, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then you know, Rico, the main character, is like, "I'm from Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all," right? So it wouldn't <laughs> make sense for the bugs to be able to destroy Buenos Aires because the government in Starship Troopers has orbital defense. So the idea that that happened means that they let it happen so that way they could justify another war. Mm. Um, and so his argument was, well, the bugs attacked Buenos Aires. And it was like, no, 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 that's literally the, the, the like you're missing the point. Like you literally are actually missing the point. Yeah. Um, and then like, obviously Neil Patrick Harris is like straight up dressed as like an SS officer. So oh, that's like, right. I why... forgot he was in that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. He's like the only one from that movie that ended up having a career after that. Like, did you notice? Well, oh, I guess yeah. Michael Ironside too, but yeah. he was old. The, the young people never did anything after that. Um, but he, he basically like completely missed the point of it. He's like, why are people sympathizing with the bugs? It's like, <laughs> it's like the ability to have empathy for something that doesn't look like you. That's the point. Like you are, you are weird. Like I, I hate using the term dog whistle, but like, that's like, you know, like a dog yeah. whistle for like, I'm racist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you can't see like past that sort of, um, the, uh, I, I can't find the word, but like, if you can't look past that similarities between that and what's happening in the real world, then like, I think there's something missing in within your brain somewhere. Like you can't sort of skip over that and think it's something else. Like it was very like a shallow look at what was meant to be a lot deeper than what he, what it is. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, Sh Sh Shad's very much, he doesn't want to look past his nose. His brother is actually a very famous art YouTuber oh, uh, by okay. the name of Jazza. Oh, um, my. Uh, really? Jazza yeah, is his Jazza brother? Jazza is his brother, yeah. So, um, what, is he Australian? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. He's one of yours. Hey, he's one of yours, he's actually, Eva. He's building, he's building a <laughs> castle with his YouTube million. A literal castle. <laughs> that's insane. That's cool. Wow, that's blew <laughs> my mind. Talking about him like that and then being like, oh, yeah, it's Jazza's brother. Holy well, crap. That's why the AI stuff is so funny. There's like a clip of him arguing with Jazza where Jazz is like, you, you can't put down that you're an artist on this. And yeah. like Shad's like ripping him a new one and it's on a live stream. And so Jazz is like trying to be the good brother and just let uh -huh. him have what he wants. And he's like, oh, but you're letting me have what I want now. Like, this is a, this is a problem. Like, what the fuck? Oh. Wait, that's your Australian accent. Try again. Uh, uh, that was, that was like a, a British one. Or, or yeah. I can actually do an Australian try. accent. Okay. Yeah, go. <laughs> All right, crikey, mate. Uh, we're here. Oh, we're God. here at the beach. Right? <laughs> and me and the mates, right? We were, we were driving cars in the desert. And uh, we fucking... It's Wait, bad. wouldn't it be I'm the sorry. bush? Wouldn't that was it be great. the bush? Sorry, you were, you were closer than the last one. Let's face it. I, I was, was thinking, great. like, I don't know, like, Junkrat or, like, Mad Max or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that's where I figured you were, you were getting the inspiration from. But, like, yeah, that was better. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's insane. That's insane. That's blew my mind. Well, yeah, I just want to say... very sad. I just want to say Starship Troopers is the greatest movie ever made. That's all I'm going to yeah, say. Yeah, if you haven't that. seen it, go see it. You oh have to God. watch I've that movie. I've literally never seen it. It is... I what? I a favor. I've never mean, seen it. How could you... I, are, are you a... Com are you a communist? What okay. is wrong with you? I might be. Okay, because what's it about? <laughs> what do you mean what is it about? We just talked about what it's about. We oh, just... Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I'm all, is, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't good, know what you were talking about and I forgot to listen for a second. It is but on a surface level, it is an action movie about guys killing bugs and like See, all the actors are like really it. hot. You don't know about Rico's yeah. roughnecks? What? No. Mm -mm. Oh bunny. I'm going to make you sit down and watch it. Oh god. Oh my god. Uh, it's about bugs. I mean, they it's they get about the war against bugs. It's about the war <laughs> against bugs. Wait a minute, are there parasites? No. Okay, then see why would I watch this? 
Oh my god. Do you want to know something funny? Is that like ten days ago, the Act Man actually put out a video about Starship Troopers and why it's so awesome. So. Oh, did he really? I don't wow. watch the Act Man, so I wouldn't have known. <laughs> just came up in my feed a few days ago. I just remembered about That's that. That's funny. Like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go to the Act Man and watch that because it is the greatest movie ever made. Wow. Yeah, I don't care what movie. anybody says. I love that movie. It's like the same with the guy. Joe Dirt. Huh? Oh, uh, Joe. Joe D- Dirt. Why do you always bring up Joe Dirt? Yeah, you trying oh to say God. it's better than Joe Dirt, Zolly? Joe Dirt is a horrible movie, ma'am. Oh yeah, we're not going to get into this again. I don't want to get mad. No, because there's a short in our channel now where you were threatening to fight me over Joe Dirt. Yeah, a I tussle. Will. It was the I tussle. Don't wanna, I don't want to have to go there, but I will. Have you ever How seen you Joe, Dirt? Joe Dirt? Diesel. Joe Dirt is like, uh, it's kind of in one of those so bad is good movies. That's, exactly, that's kinda... it goes full circle yeah. and it's a, it's a work of art. It, Wait, it, Bunny, it's... have you seen Freddy Got Fingered? Yes, yes I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that okay, quick fact, quick quick fact. Uh, that was the first R-rated movie I ever bought. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, that's I watched sweet. it all the time. That movie yeah. was dumb too. I hated that movie. <laughs> what? Tom Dolly. Green is great. What? Yeah, I love Tom Green. What do you mean, Zylie? You just disappoint me a lot. Like, you're like, I don't like collard greens. I don't like Joe Dirt. And I'm like, <laughs> what do we have in common, Zolly? Um, um, We're both Southern women. That's yeah. what it comes down to. We're Southern, even though you're going to take my Southern card because I won't eat collard greens. Yeah. Collard greens are disgusting. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. Ugh. You Ugh. like fried okra, though, right? I don't eat okra at all. Oh my God! I'm. I. We need to just move on. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> Bunny's gonna break up with me now because I won't eat. No, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, Bunny, you can't get rid of me. It's not happening. I, I wouldn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. I'm All right. So, Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else, what else have you got in the works besides the one that Zali's so uh, waiting on, you know, like, uh, something I, coming up? I, I apologize. I'm very clearly a yapper, but... Um... No, no, you're absolutely no. fine. No, it's perfect. Absolutely. Oh, it's so interesting what you've been talking about. Um, so, the coffee company, like, we have a we have a YouTube t- channel, Mana Potion Tabletop. Um, oh, Okay. We, we're working on a documentary right now about, so this is something that's local and it's absolutely insane. Um, so there's like the community of, of nerds that own and run all, all these stores where we buy things at, right? And we're frequent uh-huh. to one of the stores. We have a friend who works at an anime store in the community. And we heard all these rumors about a guy who embezzled hundreds of thousands of dollars and fled his family in the night for a mistress destroying Ooh, a, a business that had existed for 40 years right oh my God. So, so it's this it's it's wild um there's like a child bride uh what? like this oh. all this shit it sounds um, like a movie what the hell yeah it we 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 were talking with two of the people that were like involved one of them is uh he used to own the business that they got shut down um and he he was saying how this guy the guy's called mike right and we're mm. like if there's any like we we're trying to track down mike right now um but we said mike might see this what would you like to say to him he's like mike f- you you're a <laughs> louse and a piece of shit and you ruin people's lives come back so you can be a father to your children Ooh. <laughs> and i'm like whoa <laughs> wow yeah oh my god that- <laughs> Like okay. Springer. In the hell. Yeah. I gotta. Yeah. I want to watch that. That sounds epic. That does sound yeah. pretty epic. But you would never expect it. Um. These really? these nerds committing all this like I they committed. I guess it was wire fraud and uh tax fraud. Um, oh. So he ran this business and what he did was he, they had an online storefront and you can list things for pre order. So there was this very popular card game coming out at the time called Flesh and Blood. Mm-hmm. And it was very hard to get your hands on. But somehow, he got hands on unlimited numbers of it. So people paid mm-hmm. and placed all their pre-orders, and he made a shitload of money. So he had all this money sitting in his account, and he went, oh, man, the business is going under, but I've, 
made quite a lot. And he's like with this chick that lives in Florida. And so the business was going under. He was just like, let me close up shop. He took the money and left it a night, literally left it a night. Oh my um, God. And because of the tax laws in Florida, the IRS and uh, basically the government can't get him because it's all taxes that he would owe to New York state. And because of how Florida <sighs> works, he can basically just sit there and not get penalized for any of it. Oh, right. So did, awesome. did the cards exist or like, so, do people so get... because it was a pre-order, yeah. uh, none of the cards existed. Uh, oh my God. none of those people got their money back from. Oh was my told. God. That's um, all. Yeah. He, okay. and, and the company even knew they found out about it and they were not happy either. Oh, I'm sure so. they weren't. <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's crazy. But yeah, well, that's going to be interesting. There's a lot of white collar crime with that. Um, and yeah, I, I bet. And also just the personal aspect, right? Like the child bride thing, like one of his employees uh, hooked up with like a 16 year old and then vanished. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. What's with this child bride thing going on recently? Well, I don't understand why, but I, I, yeah. I don't understand the world Stop anymore. It. I'm stu I, I, yeah. I'm questioning everyone and everything now. Literally. Me too. It's getting out of hand. It's getting way out of hand. Yep. Way out so, of hand. I've got a question for uh, the fans. I know that, like, you know, when we were playing, um, like, Fortnite and stuff together, we did ask you this question. But we had, like, a suggestion for a question that we just needed to sort of get out of the way. For those okay. that don't know... What does FPS stand for in FPS ah. Diesel? Because let, let, me, let yes. me explain why I will never say this. Okay. okay. <laughs> it is so much better if you all just guess what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Because the answer is so completely uninteresting that the mystery around it is more fun. He won't answer. Mm. He won't answer. <laughs> I have done everything. I have talked sweet to him. I have been nice to him in a full conversation, which is kind of hard because, you know, I like threatening people and stuff. No, I have I have completely been nice to him. I have tried to, to you know, be like, come on, Diesel, please. I begged him. I threatened his <laughs> life. I have done everything, and he will not tell me what that is. Yeah, and we oh. know that it's not first person shooter, and that's all. Yeah. That's all we know. Yeah, that is the so... only thing I've said. That it's not first person <laughs> shooter. I'm thinking. He won't tell us. If you somehow get it correct, I will tell you. But you have to get it correct. All right. I can count on one hand the amount of people that know what the FPS stands for. Fat pickle sandwich. That's actually a really good one, but no. And uh, oh. you know what? The, you know what the first one people usually get? Like, because the, they're like, when did you make the name? You were 12. Uh, piss shit. Uh, fat penis syndrome. <laughs> like, <laughs> those those are things. good. Dang. Hmm. All right. So uh, maybe you, you guys in the comments, if you however, I want to have a guess what FPS. <laughs> yeah, have a, have a guess of what FPS stands for. We'll see if we can get it. As Wait a, a minute. If somebody gets it correct in the comments, will you tell me that they're correct? Uh, yes, but I won't tell them. <laughs> no, no. Nice. You won't have to tell them. You won't have to tell them. But if somebody gets it correct in the comments, you will tell me if it's correct. Yes. And me. What's going on? Come on. Yeah, I want to know. I mean, yeah. obviously, the entire I would, broadcast has won, I, right? Obviously, I would together. tell you if he told me. The okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, right. if you find out, I'll have to kill you. Okay, I got people. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly. In, in Minecraft. In game, in Minecraft. Wait, <laughs> yeah. Is it something just completely random, or is it something that somebody could guess? Because I am going to dwell on this. <laughs> somebody could guess it. it somebody could actually okay. guess it. Um,. I'm just but trying I to think how was 12 year olds diesel uh, how was 12 year olds diesel's mind back then? Mm. Yeah. I've been an old man since the day I was born, Zyla. Okay. You are an old man. You are the <laughs> oldest 20 something I have ever met in my life. I'm telling you, brain wise, he's old. Bro, he is older than yeah. I am brain wise. He really is. No he doubt. acts older yeah. than me. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Damn it. 
All right, uh, let's see, what else? Anything else, anything else we can think of besides, um, of course I will have, uh, in the description below will be both his channels and of course, uh, Made a Potion Coffee Company link. What was the code again? Code Diesel? Was it code oh, what? Code D10? D10. Yeah, code D10. Set off your order, baby. Which, by the way, I would like to say I have never used that code every time I've ordered from you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. It cuts into a bottle. Line. <laughs> <laughs> I have never used that And you do ship to us. You do ship to Australia now. I keep forgetting you said yeah, that, we do, right? We, we do ship to Australia now. If okay. We figured all that out. Yes. Uh, you will get a custom form with your order that has my name on it, though. So. Ooh, yeah, we're not going to dox that for sure. So it'll be fine. <laughs> Absolutely not. But, <laughs> yes. Um. Okay, well, I mean, Diesel, thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Yeah. Th thank no, you for but... having me. When am I going to get all the broads for D&D? Uh, &D? What is this? Come on. Oh, well, <laughs> I, yeah, I've only played D&D &D once, and it was hosted by Beckett, and it was, like, a really short one. Mm -hmm. Like, a yeah, and, and it's, like, I, I would do it again. It was, like, a lot. No, I just, like, I didn't know how to play a character. So I would love another opportunity to have a go at it for sure. As long Beckett as it's a short is, game. Beckett is fun. We did a Call of Cthulhu game with Beckett. And oh, he really? and he yeah, he a, was a DM then, and Beckett, he was really Beckett good. Is a phenomenal DM. He, he was, was really good, DM. really good. I was like, it oh was a God. lot of fun. So yeah, if it's anything like that, for sure, I'd, I'd have a go. But it has to be a short game. I can't do these week long stints like. Oh you yeah, I, 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 absolutely. I can. Yeah, I, I feel like I will ruin this, this, but okay. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> wait, wait. So Bonnie, you would do it? <laughs> I, no. If I can ruin it. What do you mean? Like, I'm allowed it. to ruin you, it. <laughs> Bonnie, you could literally play like a space clown, okay? That has okay. like a rubber sword that, like, like you could be anything, really. Oh I mean, true. God. You really can. You could I'm be anything. Silly. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and then me and, e the me and Evil be in the corner going, okay, this is how we're going to kill Bunny's character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah get me up quick. I'll be thieving a rubber sword, you know. Oh, my <laughs> God. All right. Well, um, again, thank you for coming by, Diesel. And, um, yeah, put in the comments down below what you think FPS stands for. And somebody please get it right because I have been trying to figure that out for the longest time. And it's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing <laughs> me. It's absolutely killing me. Sorry. I mean. I'm still guessing over here. Maybe. It might be. Is, is that fist, it? Fist pump, Sandy? Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read into that. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Um. Say goodbye, everybody, so we can get out of here. Goodbye. Bye. Oh my God. Goodbye. <laughs> now, ladies. Yes. Did y'all write down questions for him? You know I didn't. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, one of these days. One of these days. <laughs>